actually capable of handling numerous bits of information. However, everything that the brain perceives is not registered and the brain does not remember that. First and foremost, educators must ask, what gets the student's attention? A rule of thumb to follow is attention span equals number of years in age. So if a student is five years old, their attention span is about five minutes, a 10-year-old, 10 minutes, a 15-year-old, 15 minutes. So it's really important for the teacher to change the modality of instruction within that 40, 45 minute class to suit the attention span of the children. Another great tip is to have the teachers write the agenda on the board. It's really important that the students understand the aim of the lesson. In other words, what is the learning outcome of the lesson? So here's a recap for attention, some points to remember. Number one, attention span equals number of years in age. Number two, remember to change the modality of instruction within a teaching period, such as moving from a lecture to a discussion, research, pair work, presentation, or a practical application or group work. Number three, Remember to always write the agenda on the board and focus on the learning outcome. Number four, use novelty and change because it sparks attention and helps children to remember better. And last but not least, number five, utilize attention rituals. We can also use cross lateral exercises to wake up the brain and we can also give processing brain breaks when required to refocus attention.